welcome to the Youth and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silverquill. Bingo! Yay! Why bingo? Because I've always just wanted to win. Oh. What just one came of bingo. But you would not believe how competitive folks could be at the retirement homes. Do, do, do they, like, try to shank a person if they think they're winning? No, they just really love to shout bingo. All you have to do is say, hey, look, you've got a bingo. They'll be like, bingo! Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. But anywho, uh, also doing us is Totoro. Hey guys, I got an eye. Not an eyeball, and the letter I. Oh. 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 I, I. I. Are we going all captain now? <laughs> I, I. But, any- Yar. but anywho... Uh, in today's episode review, we are going to review the Friendship is Magic comic issue number 70. In this issue, Rainbow Dash brings some excitement to the Golden Horseshoe Gals with Extreme Bingo! Yeah! So, before we hop right into it, let's, well, get first impressions out of the way. And Silver, what do you think, man? Well, it's a fun little comic. It doesn't, it's really an Applejack and Granny Smith comic. As they, they're the ones who have the real character conflict between one another. But it covers so much of Ponyville with a lot of callbacks. I mean, a lot. Hmm. So mostly you just get to enjoy fun vignettes with a a brief character interaction between two very stubborn mares. (laughs) All right, right, right. And Tara, what about you? For me, it was decent. I mean, I don't really have much to say. It's just decent. I mean, I kind of liked it, I guess, but I didn't really get much out of this. <laughs> oh, my. All right. <laughs> I mean, aside right. if you were expecting some more first impressions, but yeah. And as for me, this episode was okay. <laughs> this seems to be a trend with Applejack. I, I know I need to be okay. I want to be amazing, but. It seems to be the trend. Oh no. Poor Applejack. Yeah. She is neglected. Yeah, yeah. But anywho, um, if you have not read this comic, uh, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. Hope you enjoy the comics. Um, so yes, uh, we're gonna go traditionalist for this one. So we start off the comic with Rainbow Dash doing what she does best, busting clouds, making them feel real good. I get, I get it. Huh? I, I got that reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm lost. <laughs> Bustin makes me feel good. Oh, <laughs> how did I not see that? <laughs> because there's no. That's it. But anywho, yes. Um, after she busts a cloud, um, she relaxes on a cloud, and well. You know, Rainbow Dash doing what she does best, relaxing. Derpy comes along and smacks into Rainbow because she has a letter for her. And <laughs> let's just say that whenever Derpy's around, something's going to get broken. Rainbow suffers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Rainbow suffers, yes. And in this case here, Rainbow gets a letter from the Horseshoe Gals, them inviting her to join game day. Um, this is just what the Golden Horseshoe Girls, uh, monthly or weekly, I, I don't know, probably monthly gathering for playing video games or whatever. So she's very excited and this is going to be the best day ever until she discovers what that game is going to be. Oh no, it's bingo. So I'm going to pause it here. Silver, what do you think, man? Well, it, okay, I've actually, I have actually worked at retirement homes where they play bingo. And I've been at uh, big events where they love to play bingo. And yeah, there is a genuine excitement amongst them. That all you guys say is, oh, you got a bingo. Bingo! They just love to shout bingo. <laughs> all right. I've got to flash you back to my past here. All right. So, I don't know. It's not a game to which I feel <laughs> terribly inclined. I don't even take part in the, uh, uh, what is it, the season bingo that people post on, like, uh, Boru image boards. But it's just some, it's something fun to get together. But I will say for, uh, My Little Pony, 
they often make it a point of showing of of stressing growing older does not mean giving up excitement or or joy. True that. True that. So, so it, I'm not surprised that we're about to have the Golden Horseshoe gals resist or rebel against Applejack's ho hummery. But this has always been the case for the Golden Horseshoe gals. They even ditch a uh, Big Mac for Apple. Sorry, for Rainbow Dash for this one. And just because of a quote unquote um, threat from Applejack, Rainbow Dash has to play it cool. <laughs> they even call her like, "I thought you were supposed to be the fun one." <laughs> well, I don't, you know, I've always wondered: do they really ditch Big Mac, or does he? Is it sort of a vacation for him as well? It is a vacation for him as well. And he just didn't tell his sister because I, I ain't spoiling it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But um, Tara, what about you? Well, I do like to see Derpy again, or do, should we call her by muffins? No, Derpy. Okay. <laughs> yes, I made that joke at uh, BronyCon, and the whole room was like, no, <laughs> <"Derpy."> <laughs> All right, well, it is nice to see Derpy again, being, you know, her derp self and crashing into the rainbow and whatnot. <laughs> and I do like how Karma kind of bites rainbow because one of those things was like this is going to be the best day ever and then later on this is the worst day ever (laughs) (laughs) yeah but and also the banner it doesn't really say bingo it just says bing with an a and a four yeah but the circle there is the o now i know i know it's supposed to be the o but i mean you know what if some people don't get that they just say b they just say bing oh no that's a bad search browser change And as for me, yeah, it, it, it's a nice setup. It's a nice setup to what to to the adventure that we're gonna have. It, it it's a straightforward thing where okay, this is a setup. This is Rainbow Dash. She's awesome. Oh no, she's in a bad situation. What's gonna happen? And well, let's carry on. So well, actually, before we carry but, on, I want to point out a little something that's happening in the background in the last frame. Is it just me, or I, I might be seeing things, but is it just me, or in the, is it in the juice vase or whatever? Does it look like there's two fish in there? I think it does. Yeah, but I think it's just um, drop shadows or whatever it is. I don't know, it just looks like there's fish in there. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the problem with uh, having too good of an art. <clears throat> but anywho, let's carry on. So, Rainbow Dash just says this is boring, and it, it, it's really boring. And um, Applejack just says, hey, the, the other girl seems to be enjoying it. Right, girls? And they they all be honest with Applejack saying that, yeah, it was, it was fun the first time. But after, what, five years? Was it five years? Mm, I forget. Yeah, yeah, five years. <laughs> it, it says, like, uh, after five years of this, they, they wanted something new and exciting. So they just kept quiet, and I, I just love how they use. Oh my goodness, I forgot the name for this pony, the boy crazy pony. But anyway, they 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 use Rainbow Dash to well. <laughs> the the word here is, did you just invite Rainbow Dash because you knew she'd be rude enough to complain? <laughs> and she just says, absolutely not. We invite the Rainbow Dash because she is a member of the club. And also, we so we also pretty sure she be rude enough to complain. <laughs> they know how to use. <laughs> yeah, that's mm. terrible, even for an old pony. <laughs> hey, they're old. They're not good. They're old. <laughs> but why did you use someone like that? <laughs> they they did they did. But anywho, Rainbow Dash says she has an idea, and she grabbed those bingo balls and scattered them all over Ponyville. And, well, she writes up a plan or whatever it is, saying that, okay, here are your, here's your bingo card, here's are your balls, go find them. And adventure go. Okay. Oh, Norman. Wow. Norman. What? How could you? What? Here are your balls. Well, yeah. Here are your balls. Really? Really now? You... Honestly, Norman, I thought better of you. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, uh, pausing here. So what do you think? <laughs> Basically, Rainbow was one to take everything to the unhealthy extreme. I'm pretty sure the fact that she flew over a crocodile, or is an alligator, uh, is a hint that they're prob- she's probably taking this a bit too far. <laughs> yep. Although, I will say, uh, the artist for this comic, I'm not going to call him pencils, but here's the funny thing. Tony... 
Kusitz do? Let's just call him Tony. How does one? Tony. Yeah. Well, okay. Tony, he, he's a fandom artist who joined the, the IDW staff. He does a phenomenal job with backgrounds and landscapes. So much detail, so much, uh, easily identifiable, crisp, lots of lines. But I've always, I've held the opinion that his style is serious. He doesn't stretch or, or, make the ponies hyper-cartoonized. They are mm, fixed to their proportions, which makes them more real. And as we're about to see, danger, as he starts to introduce it, is more real than comedy. Hmm. Well, when we get there, we get there. And Tara, what about you? Well, I do like that. I mean, well, I mean... First off, they kind of use Rainbow Dash, but I do like, though, how when Rapplejack's like, so you just brought her here for, for this? And Rainbow <laughs> Dash just has that smile on her face. She's like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but then after Rainbow, you know, being extreme as she is, I uh, guess, she's like, you know, she just wants to have fun. Doesn't even think about the health or safety of the old, these old ponies. They're like, I'm just going to scatter all these around, and you got to go out and find them all. Rainbow Dash is going to be a bit too extreme. But anywho, that's extreme. Let's, let's carry on. So, um, Applejack is worried about the grannies because, well, they're old, they're fragile. Oh no, they might break a hip if they fall down. Oh no, that's not fun. And Rainbow Dash says, oh, come on, they'll be okay, they'll be okay. Right? Right? And then she starts to worry. But anywho, we push that aside because Granny Smith's first quest on her card is to get the bingo ball out of a griffin's nest and this like wait what <laughs> there's a griffin in the town school how what that kind of that kind of came out of left field so, so anyway um <laughs> very and cheerily is uh, pretty blase about it kind of in fact, is it is it a little speciesist of her to say, oh, yeah, she made friends with some students and now suddenly she's making a nest, but what can you do? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But but anywho, uh, Granny Smith wanted to go up there and take the ball for herself, but Applejack says, let me do it. And she gets the ball and the griffin, not any griffin that we know, comes and attacks Applejack because... Um, she's kind of messing up her nest and whatnot. And yeah, once the ball's down, Granny Smith takes it and walks away, leaving a poor Applejack in a dilemma. Oh no. Well, that's what happens when you drop the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so we move on to the next pony. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, Apple Rose? Yes, Apple Rose. So Apple Rose here uh, on her card says, um, the ball is at Sugar Cube Corner and ask Pinkie Pie for help. And with Pinkie, she thinks that, okay, if Rainbow Dash is doing something like this, I hide the ball in a cake. And guess what? I am your gal to help you. So let me eat all those cakes. And after eating a few cakes, um, Mrs. Cake just comes down and asks, what happened here? She's just trying to help Apple Rose find a bingo ball that Rainbow Dash hid in here. And you mean the one that Rainbow Dash gave to me? Okay, that problem was easily solved by just asking someone, an adult, yes? Yes. Of course, they just destroyed the cake stock, so this this has now cost them business. <laughs> yeah, true that. And, well, we move on to the next pony. Uh, who was it again? Oh, man, I am not getting names. Oh, this one is Goldie Delicious, right? Uh, yes, that's Goldie Delicious. Yeah. So she goes there saying that Rainbow Dash hit a bingo ball in Twilight's castle. And Twilight is trying to find said hidden object, but let's just say that she's not going to let it down until she finds it. And, <laughs> oh, wow. Like, this is, uh, what was the word again? Um... Twi, uh, twi, 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 crazy twi. What was the? What are they called? Twilighting. Yeah, twilighting. This is twilighting to a very concerning extreme. And Spike just comes in and says, "Yo, um, twilight. 
you may not want to panic, or, but I, I think I may have laid an egg. That's concerning. But you know what's interesting? What? I believe this is the first appearance of Winged Spike oh, in the comics. Yes, that is true. Yeah, I've never seen Spike with the wings in the comic. And also Pink Tongue Spike. Well, that's always been a color. What? Oh, wait. Pink Tongue. Yep. That's right. Usually, yep. <laughs> usually they have give him a green tongue yep. for reasons I don't <laughs> understand. Okay, and then we go to our last contestant. Who was her name again? Oh, my goodness. Anti-Applesauce. Yes, Anti-Applesauce. So, she, the boy Crazy Pony, she enlists the help of Bulk Biceps to get a bingo ball from the windmill. By the way, has this windmill been always been Ponyville? Yeah. It's been there. I think Fluttershy chucked a, chucked a guy at it once. Really now? Okay. Putting your hoof down. Oh, okay. That that is a. Oh, oh no, wait. That that was a bell tower. But there, yeah. but there has always been a windmill. I have seen the windmill. I don't really remember. Like, okay, because the only time I can remember seeing a windmill is in the Metal Pony game. But we don't talk about it. I will say this about uh, applesauce. I always thought it would be Goldie Delicious who was the cougar. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. But, see what you did there. Mm. Yeah. But anywho. Um, with Bulk by Set's help, Applesauce here gets the uh, bingo ball, and well, it looks like they're almost done. So, I'm gonna pause here. So, guys, what do you think? Like, the adventure or the hunt seems a bit tame, right? Silver? Well, basically, what's what it's doing is serving. <clears throat> the golden, the gold horseshoe gals really aren't the most interesting characters in this. They are just vessels to get us to a vignette where either Twilight or Pinky or even Bulk can be quirky and silly and maybe a little extreme. That so, in a weird way, the contestants in this contest aren't much characters themselves, <clears throat> and that's a little disappointing. I mean, thinking back to when they went to when they went on a trip to Las Pegasus. You got to see their characters stand out. Not so much here. Except for Applesauce and her hitting on a, a younger man. Oh, God, no. So far, it's mostly just been let the ponies of Ponyville go crazy, and that's where the entertainment lies. Mm. And the the hidden balls aren't that much. It, it's about to change. Uh, yes, true that, true that. Uh, Terra? Uh, uh, Silver so kind of basically took the words out of my mouth because, I mean, another way too is that y these ponies are very old and they're not as energetic. So I guess they kind of have to ask for help. Like they ask, Apple Rose asked Pinky for help. I mean, Granny Rose was willing to d get the the one ball for herself, but Applejack's like, no, it's for your own safety. I'll do it myself. <laughs> and it's like, okay, then fine. <laughs> but everyone else, they ask for help. And then when uh, Golden Delicious, I think it was, the one with Twilight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's like, oh, I could just look for, I could just look around, uh, leave and go to another place. That's why I was like, no, sit down. We're not leaving until we find it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, so true. And yeah, personally, for me, I, I like the setup here because I, okay, like Silver mentioned, the Golden Horseshoe Gals are not the most entertaining. I would love to have an, ep an episode or a comic issue where the Hostel Gals discovered a potion or a spell that make them young for a day. Then, oh my goodness, we can have so much craziness fun. But, nah, that's, that's head cannon. That's, that's, that's not gonna happen. But, what we got here is not bad because the citizens of Ponyville are the one that's kind of doing all of the lunatic fun. We get to see Twilight being um, twilighting or going twilighting we get to see a griffin in Ponyville like what and so on this is kind of fun and I do like the setup for this one so yeah I wish we had more of this mm -hmm. and also something I like to point out that I've also noticed in the background while going through this in the comic where Twilight is teleporting all over the place looking for the ball if you look at the bottom left of the screen or picture or whatever you'll see a book that says DuckTales <laughs> oh boy, nice. Oh boy. Good catch, good catch. But anywho, uh let's move carry on. So from this point on, uh we repeat the entire process with other characters and other scenarios. Um 
Granny Smith crosses a bridge, uh, Goldie Delicious, um, what's the word? Scale down of the, the Ponyville Repel, Dam? Repels yes, thank you. Down. Repel down the Ponyville uh, Dam with Apple, sorry, with Big Mac's help. And uh, Applesauce here meets up with Rarity, and somehow Rarity is smitten by her uh, kinship or something like that, or marvelousness. Like, that's interesting. She's got the attitude. I'm always in style. <laughs> but uh, it carries on from uh, Apple Rose disturbing Trixie's trick to uh, Glodilicious being in the office trying to disturb. And it, it goes on, it goes on. Fluttershy gets cheated. She doesn't have a speaking role. <laughs> yeah. But it is kind of interesting. Like, some of the places that Rainbow Dash plays are pretty interesting, yet some of them are dangerous. And talking Mostly about... Mostly for Applejack. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, but talking about danger, the last ball, the O, is in a spooky castle. The castle of the two sisters. And... Rainbow Dash is at fault here because, well, she didn't have time to hide them in a very specific spot, so she kind of lumped them in one place. So, being in the Everfree Forest, the weather here is not controlled, so it's going to be a stormy night. And Applejack here says, okay, girls, this ends here now because this is just getting ridiculous. Um, Let's just call it a tie and go enjoy some warm apple cider. And the girls agree to it because, well, you know, they've, they're have they tired. They've been on an adventure. And Applejack turns to Granny and Granny's missing. It seems that Granny Smith has been, well, it seems that Granny Smith has gone into the castle to look for the bingo balls and somehow disregards all the signs that this place is dangerous. And she has the high ground. She was the chosen one. And the floor breaks on her and she almost fell. Luckily for her, Rainbow Dash swoops in and saves her life. And I'm going to pause here. So, Silver, what do you think? Well, to be honest, even though this next phase of uh, of locations is more dangerous, I mean, especially the bridge, th- we're getting much shorter vignettes. I mean, Rarity didn't even get to go crazy. If anything, I felt like she was just sort of, hi, I exist and I look good. Oh, I feel kinship with this proud mayor. Yep. The real fun was just these one shots where you get to see Stephen Magnet and Trixie, the filthy rich <laughs> Zephyr. <laughs> what is he doing look. there? Uh, it looks like uh, Goldilicious is getting the bingo ball out of his hair or mane. Yeah, but, but what is he doing? Like, oh, you... the pain! Well... Probably trying to flirt with Rainbow. Oh, God, no. But why Rainbow would go to the castle of the two sisters, or what's left of it, is beyond me. True. That. But but then this thing with Granny Smith going into the into the castle always reminds me of uh, Granny in the first two seasons of this show. All she ever did was, er, I'm old and my hip's bad. It's been a very big shift in how she's now a much more adventurous firecracker. And I like the change. Yeah, yeah. I, and I like seeing her being a little stubborn. Especially with Applejack wanting to keep her safe, but Granny not willing to give over her autonomy. This, however, is not how you assert yourself. But it does, it does seem like the pieces are falling in together. We, we get to see that firecracker attitude that uh, Applejack has... And it seems that she got it from Granny. And we get to see some of that carry over. So that's really interesting and kind of awesome. I, I like that. Oh, well, there we go. And Tara, how about you? Oh, well, for me, uh, I'm going to take back what I kind of said. How in the back then, the the Golden Horseshoe Gals, was it? Yeah, yeah. 
uh, all right. So back then uh, with the Golden Horseshoe guys, how they were always asking them for help because, you know, they're old. And now they don't even ask for help. Like, Well, I mean, they ask for help from time to time when Golden Delicious is like, hey, Big Mac, help me come down this dam. But you no, know, doesn't even think, you know, this, that she could possibly, the rope could possibly snap off the ledge and then she falls. And, you know, it's, I may have gone a bit dark there, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. You gotta think of the possibilities here. Yeah, but that's why Rainbow Dash is flying above, just in case. Yeah, she's got some pony watching over her. Yep. I think that was an episode oh, name too. D- yeah, don't d- don't invoke that episode. <laughs> it was another bad Applejack episode. <laughs> uh, that's why I said it. Oh God. <laughs> well, stop it. Let's come up with a good Applejack episode, like um. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we think so. I'm waiting. Uh, <laughs> Out of silence. <laughs> Are you sure there's an Applejack episode? I mean, it could, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, it could also be a Fluttershy, Fluttershy yep. episode. Yep. Yep. You, 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 shut up with your face now. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, gonna, we're gonna say it's an Applejack episode, if only because I need something here. Dang it! <laughs> I need something. Oh, Wait, boy. you hear that? It's the sounds of silence. <laughs> hey, what about the less thrown up? Hello. Seriously. <laughs> Hello, Applejack, my old friend. I've come to watch an episode again. <laughs> Only it was a good one. But, uh, <laughs> but anywho. But, yeah. <laughs> but anywho, let's continue on because we're almost reaching the end. Yes. So, with, <laughs> with Granny Smith safe, the apples go back to the orchard and start a campfire. And Rainbow Dash apologizing and didn't really think through this because... Um, her actions could have gotten ponies hurt. And the horseshoe girl says, Ah, oh, don't be silly, Dash. Uh, this was the most fun we had in a very long time. And she, she shouldn't feel bad about making them enjoy themselves. And <coughs> Applejack here to apologize for, well, not really looking out for their needs and whatnot because they're treating them like old folks. Because well, sometimes old folk need to have an adventure too. <laughs> and uh, Granny Smith says, Oh, that, that's a lot of adventures I have today. <laughs> oh, let's stop. Uh, I'm not getting any younger now. And they all have a group hug. Yay. Episode ends. With that, let's go for... Uh, final thoughts. Yeah, let's go for that. Silver, what do you think? Actually, let's have Torterra oh, go yeah. first. Why not? Torterra. Alright, well, I mean... Final thoughts, like I said, is... Decent. I mean, I'm not really sure what the lesson is over here. I mean, I guess it's. I mean, I guess it's kind of like what we said with uh, going to see, uh, where you could feel old, but it doesn't hurt to do something that's so pizzazz, like you know, so extreme. But you also got to be safe at times too. But and they they come to realize that, and they're like, you know, we should take it easy a bit from now on. And yes, we can have fun, but not too much fun with too much extreme and stuff like that. <laughs> But but the difference between going to seed and this one is that this one has a quote unquote pretty uh, streamlined moral, like it's how do I put this? It's it stayed on track. It didn't jump from point to point and whatnot. Like it was there. The only conflict between sorry, the only conflict was between Granny Smith and Applejack because Applejack was kind of babying. Um, Granny Smith and Granny Smith felt like she needed her own adventure because Applejack wasn't going on tri- Applejack gone on adventures and I think she's kind of jealous of that and then yeah still I, I feel like it was still on the same track sorry for stealing yeah. your time Tara oh more? no it's okay this is just, <clears throat> just a little nitpick too about how Applejack is so overprotective and I mean uh, I'm pretty sure that this takes place too. I mean, I don't know if the episodes are linked to the comics or anything, but I know that back then Applejack was panicking and Greatest Smith's like, don't worry, we got your back, Rainbow Dash. We know how much of Applejack could be. And, you know, they don't really open up to her and be like, Applejack, you worry too much. And then she still panics over Granny Smith. But at the same time, Granny Smith is being really stubborn and she wants to win this competition. And and here I am thinking, I never took Granny as being that kind of competitive, especially in her old age. (laughs) Uh, At least we get to see where that, that competitive nature came from. And also, I'm thinking that this episode came before the school. Yeah, maybe. But anywho, um, Silver, what about you? 
Well, I just found this to be a pretty fun uh, comic. Not hugely memorable. I mean, it's not like it doesn't really say a lot about characters. It's more just quick sort of flash enjoyment, uh, funny, funny scenarios, but nothing that really sticks with you. I guess because the, the main character conflict is between Granny and Applejack, I almost wish we could just see the story from their perspective. And you know what would be funny is if uh, when Applejack was a filly, Granny was sort of hovering over her. You know, she just lost her, her son and daughter-in-law at some point. Mm-hmm. She could be very protective of Applejack for a time. And now the roles have switched. That would be interesting to see. I agree with that because at least... That way, we get to see why Applejack is this way. So, all in all, it's fun. I have no major complaints. And uh, as as we're saying, this seemed to stay on focus for the message better than uh, going to seed. Uh, so we, we don't. There's not that dissonance with the moral. Basically, it just shows that well, you find a compromise. Be more. Don't coddle people to the point where you stifle all enjoyment out of their lives at the same time recklessness is not the same thing as courage or fun so it's finding that that balancing point as they stated at the end true that true that true that and as for me yeah this was a good read the art by tony was awesome sorry we have two tonys right yeah tony fleece and tony you're right there, Silver. I don't know how. I've written his name Cusisto. many times and misspelled Cusisto. it. Cusisto. Well, I've written that name many times, but I, one, have a very hard time making sure I don't misspell it, and two, rarely get to say it aloud. Yeah. I think. And yet you can say Kawaii Desu. <laughs> oh, so the Kawaii Desu, Tori san. <laughs> yeah. I think it's Cusisto because it's. K U U S I S T O. Honestly, it sounds very rhythmic spelling. K U U S I S T O. Da 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 da. Yeah. But anywho, yeah. We. <laughs> what was I again? Yeah. Um, art is awesome. Like he, he and Andy are tied for my favorite artists. Yeah. But besides that, the story is not bad. Like. The moral is there, and yeah, it's an okay, it's an okay story. Like, yeah, there's you couldn't you couldn't ask for anything anything more. Yeah, but anyway, um, I guess that's the end then. So, Silver, what are you going to do next week? Well, I believe it is time to return to a friendship is magic. For this this final season ain't going to review itself, although that would be interesting if it could. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to take a look at, well, a return of an old threat. In the meanwhile, watching someone go through a work-life crisis with student counsel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Air, air. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, student crisis is the one where, um, uh, who now? Uh, the cockatrice, right? Yes, uh, that's what I mean by an old threat. Yeah. But yes, more on that in, in good order. Yeah. Yes. I got a lot to say about that one because of mod. <laughs> <laughs> Swoon. Yeah. Let's just say that... Mm, you know what? No, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anywho, yeah. Um, Next week, we'll be doing that one. So anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? You can find me on YouTube. Do a search for Silver Quill or After the Fact, and I shall appear. You can also find me on Twitter and DeviantArt under MLP Silver Quill. Uh, every Wednesday on Equestria Daily, you can find me posting either an editorial or a comic review in the written format. Uh, you can also find me on Patreon under MLP Silver Quill. And if you're at Ponyville Cider Fest in Milwaukee on the first weekend of November, you shall find me there as a community guest and all around Rebel Rouser. Rebel, Rebel, Rebel. Nice, nice, nice. Don't forget to say hi to him. And Tara, where can the good people find you? 
Well, the good people could usually find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Torterra1324, or they could just do a Google search, and I'm pretty sure they'll find me anywhere on the internet. And they could also find me on Patreon, also under the name Torterra1324, if the kind people ever want to donate some money. Nice, nice. So, uh, go do so, guys. Terra is awesome. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch your radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyWithLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's ready access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, myself, like Tristan, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Cecil Vakwil. And I am the Torterra. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, hit hit a wrong button there. <laughs> now I can say that you're letting out some gas. So anyway, uh, we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the BS Show. See ya. Bingo. Bye. So who wants to play Monopoly? <laughs> Silver. You see, I got sent to jail so much, uh, flatulence is all you have at that point. Oh my. Thank you.